How's it going, you guys? Welcome to your second app refinement tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to center things, um, specifically this label right here in HelloPer. So go ahead and open up um, your HelloPer app. You're going to need your components editor, your blocks editor, and an emulator open. Um, and the way you move center things in um, App Inventor is kind of weird. Uh, you do it using blank labels. Um, let me show you exactly what I mean. So go to your components editor, um, grab a screen arrangement, horizontal arrangement, a label, put it inside the horizontal arrangement, and to the right of that label, put your pet the kitty label. Now we're going to take away the text in this label here, because the only reason we have this label is for its space. We need this label to take up space in just enough space that it centers this right here. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. Um, let's rename this label here. Uh, how about just space label one, so we know what it's there for. We put them in the same horizontal arrangement so that they're in the same horizontal plane. Now, in order to have this centered, this, the width of this needs to be over a certain amount. We can adjust the width here, but um, let me show you a better way to do it. So let's go to our blocks editor, and we'll put some more blocks under the button one dot click so that whatever code we write here, we can see executed by clicking on this button here, which does this right now. Um, and I actually would vibrate, you see, if you were using a phone. So let's set the width of the space label. Space label one dot width. Uh, where are we? Width two. And let's just set it to 20 right now and see what happens. Okay, so we see it moved over. But we don't want it to be 20. We want this to be centered. Um, so let's change something else. I'm going to show you two. Um, wrong ways to do this that actually will lead to the correct way to do it. And it's not just a waste of time, it actually will give you a really good understanding of what's going on here. Um, so let's set space one label dot width. We know we have to set that to something. Think of this as the, a certain amount of blank space that we're using to push this label over to a certain amount. So, and this starts, this label starts at the rightmost point of this label. So the leftmost point of this label is touching the rightmost point of this one. So space one label dot width two, we can take screen one dot width, that's the width of the screen here, of any phone screen that the app's running on, divided by two. Yep. We get a divider by two. See what happens when we do that. Still doesn't work. We see it's pushed it over, so this is half the screen, so the rightmost point is at half the phone screen. So we need to be over to the left a bit more. Let's subtract from this number. Let's take a subtraction, and from that number, let's take the width of this label. Label one dot width. Now it's a little too much. Um, looks like if we move over to the right, Half the width of this label will have it centered perfectly. So let's see what happens. There we go. Um, so essentially, what we've done is we've created a label with no with no text in it. We're just using it for its blank space, and we said make the width of that label, the width of the screen, divided by two, this point right here, minus half the width of this label. So it starts right there, which makes perfect sense. We can see it working there. Now you wouldn't want this code to be executed on button one dot click. You'd actually want this code to be executed on screen one dot initialize. So when this screen, um, when this screen opens, you want this code to run so that the user never sees this moving to the center. It's just automatically in the center. And if you do it this way, this block, 
or this label right here will always be in the center just because that's how that's how it works if you look at the math and you understand that it makes sense all right um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this I hope you're able to follow along and see you next time